Hi, myself Pooja Bak, Assistant Professor of GKCM of GIS Group, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Here you will find the details of my contact information. And I have developed a Facebook page where regular updates regarding this course are available time to time. Okay, in this session, I am going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of digital communication system. Let's see the advantages. Number one, inexpensive. The digital communication system are simpler and cheaper compared to analog communication system because of the advanced mode in the IC technologies. Digital circuits are easy to design than analog circuits, so the cost is very less. Number two, storing capability. We all know digital signal could be easily stored than analog signal. So digital device like a smartphone, computers, where people can have large amount of storing of data. Storing capability is very high in digital communication system. Number three, use of repeaters. When you send a signal for a longer distance, signal property will degrade as it travel to a longer distance. But by using repeaters, we can reach that signal without having loss of signal. So like an example, this is the original pulse or original signal and uh, it passes on a longer distance. So due to longer distance, the signal property that will degrade with respect to this distance. But if you use repeater, you will again, you will get again digital signal like this without having loss of any data. Okay. Now, the using data encryption. Using data encryption, only transmitted receivers may be allowed to detect the transmitted data. For example, I have a transmitter over here and a receiver over here and a digital data like this 01110. I can rearrange this digital data in other way. If I change position this two bit and if I send it, then the data will be 11100. This rearrangement that is what only known to the receiver. Other receiver cannot extract the original information. So by using encryption, the privacy and security that can be provided. Okay. Now data compression. Data compression that could be done if you have large size of data or big data. Number six, error detection and error correction. In digital communication, coding is used. Therefore, the errors may be detected or corrected in receivers. At receiver side, if you receive data with added noise, then error detection and as well as error correction is possible. Number seven is flexible flexibility. Okay. It means the flexible hardware implementation. If system is getting changed, then changing programs, we can use that for other application. But in analog communication system, we cannot have the flexibility like some hardware can be used for other application. But in digital communication, this flexibility is available by changing the program. Okay. Okay, the last one is easier multiplexing. In digital cation, the speech, the video, image and other data may be merged and transmitted over a common channel using multiplexing. So multiplexing like time division multiplexing, 
frequency division multiplexing okay so now the disadvantages of digital communication system the first one is data rate is high so due to analog to digital conversion the data rate becomes high so therefore more transmission bandwidth is required so the bandwidth is also high next one is needs synchronization yeah it is compulsory to have a synchronization if you don't synchronize your data then so many errors occur in receiving data so digital communication needs synchronization because without synchronization there are so many errors occur okay the last one is high power consumption okay mm, i have explained in block diagram there could be source encoder channel encoder modulator so all those blocks that will be making system so bulky so that will be utilizing more power so high power consumption due to multiple stages okay so these are the disadvantages of digital communication system i hope that you have understood the session and if you like my video then please subscribe it thank you